Right, we might be getting another Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Do you remember the one which Netflix put out? No? No, because it was pretty forgettable. But it's looking like we might be getting another one. Uh, so let's take a look, shall we? Hit subscribe if you're new here, folks. Turn the bell notifications on. Uh, and please definitely follow me over on Twitter, now known as X, at Mistake Reviews. Link to that down below in the description box. But look, let's take a look, shall we? Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie in the works. Here's the latest rumour. Uh, now, I actually spotted this, uh, well, a few days ago. This is a bit of a late article from Bloody Disgusting, but one of my uh, Twitter followers reminded me of this. So thank you so much. Big shout out to you. Because I was trying to do a video on this yesterday, but yeah, just the, the life got in the way, as it usually does. Uh, but like I said, Netflix did put out a wholly forgettable Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, it was a legacy sequel. One of these kind of movies which they were... Well, they were trying to basically copy the Halloween movies, right? They were trying to bring people back, and meh, I didn't like it. I thought it was pretty forgettable. It's been out for two years. It's completely fallen out of any discussion about anything anywhere. So it just goes to show, you know, these movies which don't permeate culture, we don't discuss them in any form, uh, any shape or form, eh, they, they, they just are what they are. You know, again, whether you liked it or disliked it, it is what it is. It just wasn't uh, particularly great. So, hey. Uh, so that released February 18th, 2022. Uh, and this article asks, what's next for the franchise? You may be wondering. Well, there's some fresh rumors. So, according to Geeks Geek Vibes Nation, which cites movie insider Daniel RPK as its source, a new movie tentatively titled Chainsaw uh, Texas Chainsaw Legacy is in the works. Yay! Yay! I couldn't care less. Uh, this doesn't sound great, but here we have it. So the film is set to explore the seemingly peaceful facade of Oasis Oaks, a gated community in rural Texas, uh, within the manicured lawns and vigilant, oh, vigilant security. A protagonist family enjoying suburban bliss becomes entangled in a harrowing battle for survival as they confront the infamous Leatherface and his macabre king on an abandoned property nearby. So, sorry, what's the story? Because that is an awful... That is an awful lot uh, of information there. So, basically... Apparently, it's about a, a gated community that is seemingly peaceful, but that's a facade. Okay. Uh, there's an abandoned property nearby... And they come into contact with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface family? Like, what? So, is the is the gated community peaceful or not? And then their, their peaceful existence is uprooted by Leatherface. Because that would be better. This just sounds like someone doesn't know how to write a, a log line, a plot line. Like, is is it or not? Seemingly peaceful facade of Oasis Oaks. A gated community in rural Texas. Within the manicured lawns and vigilant security, a protagonist family enjoying a suburban bliss has a battle for survival, basically. So Leatherface is there. Right, okay, whatever. Interesting. Bit weird. Uh, but look, it's not just from Daniel RPK, because Bloody Disgusting have their own sources on this. I don't know anyone that knows anything about this, so I'm going to have to sort of... Well, I'm not going to put it down as fake, but I am just going to say, hey, who knows? I don't know what's going on. Uh, Bloody Disgusting says we wouldn't normally report on rumours, uh, but Bloody Disgusting has been hearing about a new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie is indeed in development, uh, and we cannot confirm the Texas Chainsaw Legacy title or plot synopsis at this time, but we'll keep digging and we expect to learn more throughout the year. I would say, right, uh, in terms of in terms of this movie... It's it, it it's legendary, right? So legendary have the rights to this. They sold it to Netflix. They gave it to Netflix. The other one, two years to release, maybe next year, two to three year rights retainer. It could be. That could be it. I'm just looking at it now, just kind of reading, you know, reading the lay of the land. It looks like that's probably what it would be. I would imagine. Uh, so that makes sense. I mean, it makes sense that they'd make another one. Why wouldn't they? 
This one would probably release in theatres, I would imagine. Why? If they can get it out this year, they've got an abundance of dead time when it comes to theatres. Because, of course, all the strikes have led there to be essentially no, uh, no movies coming out. Pretty high availability for movies that ordinarily would have sort of gone to, you know, streaming or whatever. Or sort of died at the box office to actually do reasonably okay. Uh, and maybe they think that the other Texas Chainsaw did okay enough. For them to be like, yeah, it's going to make so much money. Don't think it's going to make so much money. Um, but there you go. I mean, it's interesting. It is interesting. Now, they say this, look, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre debuting at the number two spot on Netflix's global charts for that week. Viewed by subscribers for 29 million minutes, or hours, sorry, uh, in those first few. That wouldn't be that many, would it? 29 million hours in those first few days. In its second week of being available on Netflix, the Legacy sequel was the number three most watched movie on the streaming service, suggesting it was definitely a hit for Netflix. Uh, Netflix has only provided numbers on the film for the first two weeks, so the trail goes cold from there. But we do know that Texas Chainsaw director David Blue Garcia is very much interested in picking up Chainsaw again, revealing in an interview back in February 2022 that he's already got some cool ideas for where the franchise could go next. This is probably those ideas, to be fair, especially because... Post-credits teaser uh, scene for Texas Chainsaw Massacre saw Leatherface return the, to, the, to the infamous house from uh, Toby Hooper's original classic, uh, the place where the nightmare began. A battered and bloody Leatherface stumbles down a dirt path, carrying his trusty chainsaw. The filmmaker's revealing his old family home as the monster's new destination. Interesting. I bloody... I didn't, I didn't like this film. I didn't like this film at all. Uh, I thought it was shit. I don't really care about them making another one. Uh, I just make something new. I don't know. It's not one of those films which I'm mad, I was keen on because it was so terrible. And this logline sounds awful as well. The film is set to explore the seemingly peaceful facade of Oasis Oaks. So it's seemingly peaceful, but it's not. It's a gated community in rural Texas within the manicured lawns and vigilant security. A protagonist family enjoying a suburban bliss becomes entangled in a harrowing battle for survival as they confront the infamous Leatherface and his macabre kin on an abandoned property nearby. Oh no. Ah, uh, it's more of the same, innit? What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye bye now.